What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about lambda functions. So lambda functions, what are these things? The first time I've encountered lambda functions, I was slightly bewildered because they did not fit into the Python paradigm of things. Python has very smooth syntax and lambda functions were very hard to understand. Uh, they felt incomprehensible, so it took me a while to get used to it just because it did not fit, feel like it was something from the Python language. But lambda functions are essentially functions that fit into one line. They are a lazy way of creating functions. So when you have functions that you really don't need to create a huge block, you can just create a, a lambda functions, which is a fast and quick, dirty way to create functions. So what I'm going to essentially show you is how we can create functions with lambda functions and what are some of the things you can do. All right. So the first line essentially uses the keyword uh, lambda followed by two arguments. In this case, we're using two arguments, x and y, which are the two arguments, followed by a colon, followed by x plus y. So the x plus y is just the, the action that you want to execute. So it's the sort of the internals of a function, the main body of a function. So the action that we want to execute is x plus y. So once again, x and y are the arguments, and x plus y is the action we want to execute. And if I just run, let me just run this first. And then we'll run lambda sums three, four, and you'll see it executes the internals of the uh, it executes the action the internals of the lambda function, and we had saved this to lambda sums, so I'm actually calling this as a function lambda sums. Uh, now, just to reinforce the idea that lambda is just a function, I'm going to um, I've created a function called get sum, which is essentially the same thing, takes two arguments and returns x plus y. So I'll run this. And if I run get sum 3 plus 4, which is essentially the same thing as lambda sums 3.4, I should get the same answer, which is 7, <clears throat> which is 7. All right. Now, this is going to be an example of lambda sums using uh, separate functions. Separate function. So uh, above, we were using uh, x plus y, which is the internals or the main body of a function. But you can actually pass a separate function. So this is just showing that you don't need to explicitly lay out the internals of your function. You can actually pass a function, which takes the two arguments that you provide in the lambda function. So lambda sums, lambda xy, get sum xy. So you run this. And now we're going to uh, run lambda sums, 3, 4. And we get the same answer because we're calling the function instead of the explicitly laying out the, the internals of the function. All right, uh, just another quick example. Here, um, we're actually taking one function plus and adding another function. So you could do things like this as well um, if you want to get a little crazy. So I'll run this, run uh, lambda sums, and as you can see, 14. It will be 7 plus 7. Um, just to reinforce that lambda sums is a function, I'm going to run type on it. And as you can tell, lambda sums is a function. Here is an, uh, an example without using arguments. So like I said, you don't need to have any arguments. You can have x, y, you can have multiple arguments, you can have zero arguments. And in this case, we're just running os.lister. And if you run os.lister without any arguments, um, you're going to get the, the contents of this directory. So you get all the files and folders of this directory. So I'll run this and um, run this, and I'll basically get all the contents within this directory. OK. Uh, next up, um, if you have unknown arguments here, you could pass in a star args, which essentially means you could pass in as many arguments as you want. And we're just going to print the args. So here, um, you don't have to specify a certain amount of arguments. So you're not fixed. It's a variable. The amount of arguments you're going to pass in is variable. So uh, x, 3, 2, 1, I'm essentially passing in three arguments. Um, oops. Let me run this first, and I run that, and it prints out the args. So it's able to read uh, three arguments. You could pass in two, one. When you use star args, you could pass in as many. Um, yeah, you could also use conditional statements. Um, there's a lot of things you could do with lambdas. I suggest you guys just play around with, play around with it, test it out, and um, yeah, see what crazy things you can do with lambda. So lambda x y here. It's um, we print x if x is greater than y, or we Else, or else we print y. So here we're using a conditional statement within the uh, the body of lambda. I'll run this, 
And since in this case y is greater than 3, it should be printing out the value of y, which is 4. So I'll run this. All right, and that's 4. All right, so that was just a quick um, overview or a quick look at lambda functions. In the next video, I will be using lambda functions with map, filter, and I think reduce. So you guys will get an idea of other ways you can use uh, lambda functions as well as the how to use map, use map, filter, and reduce. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.